F. Break, you already know what it is. One Six Third, Barber's Projects, Saucy Gang All Day. Shout out Fever, KP, Tatsu Saucy. You already know what it is. Let's get into it. All right, and um, how did you start getting into hip hop? This thing we call hip hop. Mm. That, that's that's far fetched. That, that's a long time ago. That's like I was a part of the Rockefeller Street team. Okay. Right. I don't, I don't want to take it so far. Okay. But uh, you know that that caught my eye. Okay. I seen things I like. You know, out on the street team, we're not getting so much. Right. We getting clothes. That's it. You know, okay. Vinyls, passing that out. Okay. And I seen where I was taking people. I seen I was around certain people. Okay. To see where they at now. Yeah. You know, so it's like okay, I got to get to it. Yeah. That's and what it is. And 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 growing up before um, you're on the Rockefeller team, street team. Yeah. Um, growing up, who who was your influence when you started getting into hip hop? Who'd you start listening to? Big Daddy Kane. Big Daddy. Um, this Monkey. Okay. Slick Rick. Uh, I had to come home from school and, and what was on music video box. Okay. Uh, was that Channel 68? So I remember some of those things, and I, you know. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was into. You like take Jack. You're taking it way back from yeah. what other people would, in this generation, would know. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So were, were you a fan of uh, Yo MTV raps and stuff like that? Exactly. Okay. Yeah, exactly. That's ex that's when hip hop was like what it. It should be right. Right now, it's switching. It's going to switch. It's going to. It's. It's good to have new things come in the situation. Right. You know I'm saying you got to get with it, right. or you're gonna get left. And you know, shout out to everybody who's doing their thing. Uh, little Yachty, right. Little Uzi. You know, niggas ain't with it, but you know that they on right now. Right. And that's what it is. Right. And growing up. Did you have a particular person you used to look up to besides um, Big Daddy Kane and stuff like that to get you into hip hop? Oh, not really. I mean, the idols I looked up to, you know, God bless, they not here no more. Right. So you know, I had to look, get to it on my own. Right. You know. And when did you figure out you had this talent? Did you start writing music? Did you, were you freestyling by yourself? I, I started making beats first. Okay, you started making beats. Okay. You know? Started bullshitting, you know, excuse my French. Right. Rhyming and, you know, I said, hold up, you know, I could do both. Right. I started rhyming more and left the beats alone. And I continued on. What, what? You know, after I bricks became more like, you know, I, I became serious. I didn't become serious until maybe about three, four years ago. Three, four years before. ago? Yeah. So, so what was that whole time gap? Where, where were you? Uh, it was like a hobby. It was like, you know, I did it on my free time. I really ain't okay. push it. it okay. Like, you know, I just did it. Okay. And what, what was that, you know, mommy asking, what was the turning point for you to make it, you know, something you're going to take seriously? What was the it, turning it's point? It's funny you say that. It's like, you know, where I live, it's like, don't get me wrong. I got a lot of friends, but you know, it's like, when I'm out that neighborhood zone. Right. And, I see more people and it's like, yo, they show me mad love. It's like, yo, what are you doing with that? And I don't have nothing to tell them. Right. So it's like, yo, I need to take this serious and, and keep it going. You know, if so you're I'm trying to get my resume up, I'm right. trying to, you know, videos, mixtapes, you know. Right, right. My music could sound more like a 90 vibe. Right. I'm, I'm keep it funky, you know. Right. I could get with the new shit, but, you know, my, my soul is more 90s. Okay. You know, because that's where I've seen a lot of things, and you know, that's where I'm, I was at. Let, let, let's talk about your first time ever, let's say, going to the studio, per se. Can we talk about that? Yeah. Um, first time in the studio, you know, nervous. Not knowing what to do and what to, you know, how to go about the doubling and, uh, Ad libs and all that stuff. Just pressing record and just letting me go. Okay. Were you doing everything by yourself? No, I had a partner at that time. Okay. You know. And um, no, we were still. He was still learning. I was still learning. Right. To where I'm at now. Right. There's so much I learned, and the sound got so much better. And it's like, okay, cool. Let's keep going. Right. So we get more better. 
I can't stop. It's, it's consistency. You know, shout out to the game. You know, help. 718, you know, happy hour. You know, everything is, everybody's doing their thing and it, it makes others do their thing. It's like, okay. Right. Um, Brig, Briggy. Yeah, did you Briggy Way? Did was that always your name from the beginning, from the jump? No, it was F. Dot Briggs. F. Dot Briggs, and yeah. what changed? Um, I took the D. O. T. Out. Okay. F. Period D. O. T. F. Dot doing it on top. That's what that stood for. Okay. But there's too many D. O. T.s out here <laughs> right now, so I took mine out. You know, it's just F. Period Briggs. Okay. You still say F. Dot Briggs, it still got the dot. Right. Um, so. You know, if you want to look up my music, it's on SoundCloud, F. Briggs, F. Period, B. R. I. Two G's, dollar sign. Right. You know what I mean? So. Um, are you currently working on anything right now? That's going to be your first mixtape or anything like this? Yeah, I put out two mixtapes. You put out two mixtapes. Okay, let's talk about your first right. mixtape. Your first mixtape. Let's talk about that. So we trust. Okay. That's the name of that. And what was the concept you know, behind that? Go ahead. Um, I was just in my... Shout out to the Saucy Gang, you know, 5v5 and KP and Tattoo Saucy. It was more of a team thing, but they helped me with, with the project. Right. You know, so it was like in a more saucy feel, you know. And uh, that's on SoundCloud as well, Dot Piff. Okay. Um, I got a video from that, from uh, Saucy Religion. Okay. It's on YouTube. So you need to check that out as well. And um, your second mixtape? Um, Saucy Therapy. Saucy Therapy, okay. Exactly. All right. You know? And that's like, you know, what it sounds like when you when you hear it. Saucy Therapy. Okay. You know, you have to... Niggas go through pain. I'd rather do that than be out there doing the wrong thing. It's more wrong things to be done. You know, people right. can be, you know, can shot up, rob, and all that. I'm, I'm sipping. Right. You know? 